Hello. It's your favorite apostates again. I am McKay, of course. And I am Jordan. And today we sweat our balls off at the park. <laughs> it was awesome. It was a good time. Fun fact. Fun fact. Um, today is a good day. Um, hopefully everybody had a great weekend. Um, if you celebrated Father's Day, happy Father's Day. If you didn't, then happy weekend. It's all the same to me. So if you missed it on Friday, we announced our giveaway for our 5K, which came very late because now upon releasing this video, we're probably at almost seven. But, uh, you know, better late than never. Um, we will link the video right here. You can go check it out. I'll, I'll put a little card and we'll put it down in the description. It's the um, XMO Q&A video. Yeah, it's the XMO Q&A video. Um, go out over there. Check it out. It outlines what you need to do. In, it's really easy uh, to enter the contest, or I guess it's a giveaway. Um, but yeah, and only on that video you can comment in order to be eligible to receive the prize of six amazing Exmo candles. candle company candles of your, of your choice. choice. So um, make sure you go over there, check that out, and uh, yeah, leave a comment so you can get your opportunity to win. Um, but today we have a new topic that a lot of people have been, well, not a new topic, but um, a lot of people have been asking about Morgan and Paul. We did a little video about them with Girl Defined. We have an Instagram and I get a ton of messages about things that people want us to cover. Um, subscribers, random people, you know, whatever. Um, I don't know who else would be watching us besides... If you're not subscribed, go subscribe. I don't Do know it. what's happening yeah. with my brain. Anywho, um, a lot of people have messaged us and asked us to react to Paul and Morgan, um, especially after our last video that we did. Yeah. So that is what we are doing today. So full disclosure, let's just put this out there. Um, this is the video that Paul and Morgan did reacting to Demi Lovato coming out as non-binary and changing her pronouns to they, them. Um, for anybody who is not a fan of people not being respectful of the LGBTQ plus community and misgendering people, if that is triggering for you, I recommend not watching this video. Um, yeah. Paul and Morgan are blatantly homophobic, transphobic um, in this video, it is evident. Yeah. Um, very little, uh, effort goes into them trying to empathize. No, little to no Christ-like behavior here. Um, and so if that is triggering to you, then I would recommend not watching this video. I feel like they did this for views. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a lot of views, but I'm kind of surprised that so people didn't take this and run with it because it, it's, yeah. it's pretty bad. Um, we, as people, our channel, we are LGBTQ plus affirming. Um, we love and accept anybody who belongs to that community. And so if you are going to be hateful or rude or disrespectful in the comments, I'm going to report you and delete your ass. So just be aware. Not going to tolerate you are comments like that. now informed. Yeah. That, this is a common theme uh, across our channel. So if you're new and that's not for you. You don't need to your, leave a comment. If you don't like our shit, opportunity. there's yeah. the door. Um, no so need yeah, to announce your departure. There's the there's the disclosure. Um, they disclaimer. will, yeah, disclaimer, whatever. They will misgender them in this entire video frequently. Um, so just be aware if that is something that is triggersome to you. Strap in, folks. Strap in, folks. This is gonna be a bumpy one. So when Jordan pulled up this video to kind of, when she was looking for a, a video from them, uh, I only saw like 30 seconds of this and I just was so amazed. So let's get to it. With that said, I'll officially be changing my pronouns to they, them. I can't imagine living life on my truth. <laughs> That's a scary thought. Okay. Interesting cold open. Um, we do a lot of pausing and some of that is to avoid copyright. So I, we, I've seen a couple people comment on it. So it's to keep it within the bounds of fair use. So we're not putting too much continuous content. audio video content. So that's why. 
But this uh, this intro happening? song is vibey. What's up, guys? How you doing? Even though I don't really like their intro. The the song was... It's I'm Paul. Awesome. I'm Morgan. And today's video... They do the same intro as us. I know. Aww. I think a lot of people do that, though. That's not, like, unique. Yeah, Lou Lovato has... Are we basic? Mm, I don't know. That sucks. Anyhow, Change her let's pronouns. Get it going. I'm assuming that she there. was okay with being called a she there. up until recently. There. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. Oh. I'm, it's it's tough. The world. It's tough, man, to just be kind to another Whoa. person. It's tough. It's so hard. We live in 2021 America and worldwide is confusing. Is okay. Uh, two notes. His shirt. I don't know what's going on there. Why is the fox, the female damsel in distress from the animated version of Robin Hood on his shirt? I don't know. Is this some sort of like trad wife thing? Positive thing. But his hat, I, I wish I could wear a hat like Not, that. Okay, I mean, can we agree My that- My brain just begins to melt if I really think tough. about it. Okay, so just Demi Lovato. <laughs> Why? So I'm assuming she was okay with shit. being called a she. Mm -hmm. Now- they, she is saying she's come into her new truth, they, which is they, them, and that she's non-binary. It's going to be interesting yeah. to hear how this Instagram conversation plug. goes, but I'm ready to dive in. Help us, Lord. Give us wisdom. Give us love, discernment, and truth. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> He's praying. Let's I'm do this. <laughs> like, I don't know why. I feel oh, like I'm about to like run a marathon I feel or like something. he's going like, to pop his arm to the square and be like, <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Um, oh boy. That's a Mormon temple reference, I guess priesthood reference, really. Well, those like can't that. understand. So that's interesting. Um, yeah. I kind of acted like that when I was a missionary, so that's pretty crazy. Like, like a dude, bro. Let's do this. Like when we would leave the house, you get all hyped up to go knock on a thousand doors and get doors thrown in your face because you're that's if you preaching didn't, for a cult. Just like jump off a cliff. Yeah. That's different. Before we get into yeah. this, though, make sure you subscribe. Turn on that no, notification do bell that. so you know when we drop no. a new video and when we go live. We make videos on culture. What? Is she taking voice lessons? I wouldn't know. I sing like And social issues from turd. a Christian perspective <laughs> to help you have hope. And be free. And real quick, guys, a we invite you to be free. Patron and support us here on YouTube and what we're doing. Don't if you like money, what we're doing please. and you want to see more of it. What, how do they have like a Patreon? Patrons of Patreon, right? I think so, yeah. Like, uh, do they just, what, what do you even do for content, content like that? It's just like, they have stickers or? Like, you can do early viewings <laughs> of videos and. Folks, if you would like to see that, I'm sorry, but literally we will post a video at two o'clock and it's still uploading at like 150 so sorry i don't know if that's ever going to change this is a huge way you can help keep the train a going we do patron only podcasts train. patron only zoom calls and this is just an awesome way to support oh zoom calls okay. i don't know if anybody would in be interested in that with us we're boring like honestly to hold a conversation with or just... we'll post the link below i want to whoa burst. Can I start? Yeah, by all means. Okay. I know I typically okay. start, so I'm excited to hear you start. <laughs> I want to start, start by mean. saying, I feel... I typically start. What's what that supposed to mean? What is with these cuts, man? Okay, yeah. I would just like you to watch these jump cuts. And sometimes I will do some cutting, but like maybe two or three. Should I back it up a couple frames? Let's uh, let's watch the jump, the jump cuts here. We're going to give him a couple counts. All right, ready? <laughs> I want to start One. by saying, I feel really sorry for Demi Lovato. <laughs> I feel like from the moment she left Disney and started just becoming more of a rebel and things and, and whatnot, she just has... Was that one right there? I don't know. I, I think that was, it was seven or eight. Like just in, in like that twenty seconds. seconds, that's a lot of jump cuts. Like, what, what was, was she, she saying, saying in between those? Yikes! 
Was that what meant, didn't make it into the misgendering? Was okay, but what was not Whatever okay the hell to make was it not, into yeah. the final product? I don't even want to know. Struggled. She's str- and she's like that's that's, that's not things. us, right? That's not us getting on her or speculating. It's no. just the truth. They. And you hear her interviews, her documentaries. Struggle has been a huge part of her life. Huge part of they. her life. I think that's a huge part of most people's life. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, and uh, especially child stars like. These people, their life is just taken from them. And a lot of times we're just like, yeah, I saw them on TV. They're so great in that show. And like, you don't realize that Disney can mess people up, man. (laughs) Yeah. You like Britney Spears. Everybody clowned on her for so long. They did. Everybody destroyed that woman's life. Like, and everybody was just okay with it. So, and they've never been in their shoes. And so yeah. I don't know why you really don't understand. So with, don't worry about before it. Before she even was in the light, struggles with her dad having father issues and Oh. No. Oh. Father issues. Okay. She, is she too scared to say daddy, daddy issues? issues? Because the that would issues be and the line. alcohol issues from just family and then her struggling with alcohol and drug addictions and uh, body uh, sex image. addictions and body image issues. Sex addiction no. is not a thing. Check the DSM folks. Quality. This girl has seriously this gone person. through it. It's just so clear that... Da- it's literally that easy. They definitely have gone through it. That's for sure. I'm not going to discount that. It, no, because they've hard been life. public about yeah. the stuff that they've struggled with. So. Yeah, but that has nothing to do with this. No. Nope. Lovato is very lost and is... Sur- okay, here's my favorite thing that... Lost. We catched cis and typically straight people like ourselves yeah um doing is saying that people especially from like a christian or mormon context the the idea is that basically if you're struggling with your sexuality or you're struggling with your gender identity that you're lost yeah and you need christ or you need church or you need organized religion or you need something to get you away from that and back to the light essentially so that this is like a reflection of temptation or yep. being bad or not going to church or which is really insulting yeah and really kind of demeaning of somebody who's trying to figure out their identity and what their their authentic self and who they're comfortable being yeah. so that's really kind of limiting and demeaning to do to someone just because somebody is finding who they are does not mean they're lost no um apples and oranges obviously um, finding out what you want to do. I'm struggling to find what I want to do with my life. And I mean, I haven't finished school yet. I'm not, I don't feel lost. Life is a journey. I'm, yeah. Like you don't have it all figured out. I guarantee you these two knuckleheads don't have it figured out either. So, yeah. and that's okay. That's normal. Searching and searching. And she'll, she said it like in her announcement they video of being non-binary that she is still searching, they. figuring things out. And we're going to get to her announcement video here in just a minute and work our way through that. How disappointing it is to see these common trends. I was like, what if, what if I put like a misgender counter up in the corner? during editing and then i realized that it'd probably take me like 40 hours to edit that in so we're not gonna do that it's like it just seems so expected yeah. think of like demi lovato oh, starting on. early going through the disney channel explosion <sighs> of popularity joe. look miley at cyrus. joe i mean to me miley cyrus has so many similarities oh yeah i mean miley cyrus i think has come out saying she's like i don't know pansexual something like that um <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> she doesn't even know what that means. <laughs> no, she doesn't. We're she like, doesn't care to either. Because being non-binary and pansexual, they're like the same. They're, they're not. The You're same. an idiot. Go read a dictionary. Yeah. They're, they're like wildly different. Look it up. Things. And that's the other thing that pisses me off about this because you're like... I get it. They're doing political commentary videos. I'm sure their Christian crap wasn't doing well and they were getting ratioed to hell. And so they're going to try this angle because they know that this stuff sells, right? They're going to get clicks. And so it pisses me off because if you're going to do something and you're going to talk about something, at least have a, I don't know, 
a small amount of research done beforehand so this, you can actually this is like not even it. research this is like google search you, this is like, uh, i don't know you would find it in the little drop down menus like, like that's kind of disappointing really easy really easy thing to find out lena gomez maybe not quite the not quite uh there. intensity and confusion but she's uh, had her stuff i didn't oh, realize that you guys can figure out your other people's gender identity and yet we realize. still yeah, so many americans like hold these people on such a high pedestal and like aspiring to be like them and what oh, what did they say they came out saying this oh that's so good like i'm gonna Crazy. take that as advice and wisdom for my life i say it again See? watch who you are who you're taking just like political advice from this is my Spiritual issue faith. here because this is something a lot of straight people like to say like ourselves that we catch straight people friends in a yeah. lot is the idea that in today's day and age as people hopefully as we continue the trend of becoming more accepting and affirming of people in the lgbtq plus community especially in the media and the entertainment industry um kind of across the board as a society i think the more we see that you know it's definitely it's in the light now, yeah. right? You see it on the news, you see it on TV shows, You, it's, it's more in the light. And with that, I think people are making the assumption that it's because it's more visible, that it's creating like more gay kids or more people yeah. who align on that spectrum. When I'm like, <laughs> okay, let's, let's use, let's put our logic brain in our head, please. Let's put our um, thinkers on. Yeah, and think about the and fact turn our that talkers off. <laughs> when this happens, it's not like, oh, it's cool to be gay because, you know, go talk well, to is. a few people. It is. But go but, talk to a few people in the community about their coming out experience, especially if they were coming out of an organized religion or a high demand like religion. Like Mormonism, yeah. Um, and so it's not like this, oh, it's like, I want to be gay because Demi Lovato is gay. Like, I don't think that's what's happening. I think what's happening here is that they are putting out a message that's resonating and kids and teens and adults and seniors and other people are resonating with that. Yeah. And they're saying, I feel like them. Like I relate to Demi Lovato. Yeah. That's how I feel. And so then they might be more willing to come out or share who they are, or they yeah. might be one step closer to feeling more comfortable with who they are. And so I think we have to stop with this misconception that just because people look up to celebrities, that celebrities that are part of that community are making people a part of that community just because yeah. they want to be. That's just bullshit. There's, like, that's not true. There's no... Does that happen? That. I mean, maybe. I maybe. don't know. But I would say the vast On majority, the whole, yeah, that's not, not how it's happening. happening. Yeah. Yeah. And um, we obviously are not the authority on these kinds of situations. No, not at all. We're cis people in a heterosexual relationship. So we have never had any sort of fight to fight. Um, but um, there are other people. We had Kylene on, and her perspective was really interesting. We definitely recommend watching her, the second that half interview. of her interview. Um, she talks a little bit about her experience with that. But um, Listen it's to just, those people. Amplify yeah. their voices. Amplify their message. Yeah. Don't, like, These don't people, encourage shit yeah. like this. Advice yeah, they're just being, life advice from i just feel like, like we have stuff that we are working through we do morgan yeah, and i do, do today yep but work harder <laughs> I feel like some of the most <laughs> lost confused people are these people that are unfortunately in the biggest spotlights as messed up i don't demi lovato let's okay put this anybody in the spotlight and what's gonna happen like it's celebrities yeah. aren't unique and never have struggles if you put a spotlight on anybody that's going to happen because yeah. that's being a human but okay yeah we we have our struggle we don't even like really tidy up our room that much when we shoot these videos and people are like will you, sh you shoot videos in your room <laughs> and i loved the voice who cares on that. jeez not everybody has a studio space, you know? True. Not everybody's got their life together. I would say that most people don't, so. Jump right into her announcement Which is fine. video. Over the past year and a half, their I've been doing some video. healing and self-reflective work. And through this work, I've had the revelation that Snaps. I identify as non-binary. With that said, I'll officially be changing my pronouns to they, them. So much. Also, they need to take a page out of the old Demi Lovato book of wisdom and put a mic you know, their, their audio could be so much better. Self-reflection, so much self-improvement, self-work. 
all about me, and now here's where I've arrived. Or Tell me you've never been to therapy without <laughs> telling me you've never been to therapy. Oh, man. Why are we demonizing working on yourself? Seriously. You've got issues. I've got issues. He's got issues. Guess what? We all have internal self-work that needs to be done. And so let's not How shame do you people do that? for doing that. Go to therapy. Go to therapy and okay? work on yourself. And the fact that she's doing like introspective, self-reflective, that kind of work, that shit is hard, man. Diving into trauma and dealing with that kind of crap, that shit sucks and it's hard. And so I give them major, major props for doing that because yeah. that's not easy work. Not easy at all. So I and I don't understand what it is, especially with like Mormons, where being like a little bit focusing on yourself is like selfish, selfish. and there's no like gray area. It's like you're being selfless or you're being selfish, and, and being selfish no is bad. Yeah. Here's where I'm arriving. I'm non-binary. I'm sorry, but yeah, based honestly. How is this going to help you? I feel like it's just going to be that much more confusing for you as a person. Literally, you don't know who you are. You are... Look at his face. So he maybe... is not listening to anything she is saying you... right now. <laughs> you don't know who you are. So uh, looking for who you... They're like, you don't know who you are, and you're looking to find yourself. What and they're the criticizing hell? both of those things. You like, can't have both ways, y'all. You're trying Jeez. to say that I'm both male and female. I lean What's wrong with on that? both sides. I feel like a man yeah. in this way and a woman in this way. So I'm... Welcome What's to masculine and feminine energy. Maybe you should, you know, do some research before you're spouting off yeah. bullshit. Everybody's got a little bit of both. Both. That is so confusing. And I think in a, a different part it's really of not this that kind of hard same interview video, she says, you know, I'm, I'm so happy to be at this place because I never want to go back to the low points that I was. So like I'm coming into my truth and it's like, wow. So saying I'm non-binary, they, them, literally like I'm not a, a he, a she, a male or female. I'm all and both. That's going to... You're just a human. That's all. It, it doesn't, it doesn't like transmute you from like a human into something else it's literally okay this is also apples and oranges i've been deceiving all of you my name is actually not mckay that's my middle name i've gone by mckay my entire life and that's just how i prefer people to call me because i don't like to go by my first name some kids call me by my first name as like a joke and i hated it absolutely hated it um, obviously this is not nearly the same, but I literally have to dumb it down that much for people to understand that it's just being called what you want to be, be called. called. That is how you feel comfortable. And I'm trying to understand, like I'm, I'm really trying to understand why their journey is so bothersome to these two. Like, I'm literally sitting here trying to figure out... People get so... Why? Triggered because over it. Because this has literally zero impact on these two. This literally, in the course of their lives, is going to make no difference. Yeah. And yet, these two are in absolute yeah. crisis over it. Like, I highly doubt these people give a shit about De Demi Lovato, whatever... Otherwise. ...music that they do, or... I think they're just doing music now, but... Yeah, Help maybe they were watching yeah. Camp Rock or something. Quest like that. for inner peace and inner healing and identity. I just feel like we are seeing more and more and more. I mean, oh. it's, it's so common now to literally see the pronouns of oh. a person in their bio, their Instagram feed. Oh yeah, he, there it him, is. She, her, whatever. They, she, her. her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's yeah? What's the and, wrong again? I'm not going to put my first name in my bio most of the time. Maybe like on my Facebook, I have it, but I have my pronouns in most of my social media yeah. bio. Are you triggered Morgan? Are you triggered? Are you mad about that? Jeez. Yeah. I'm going to put my, the name that I prefer people to call me on there. It's just that to me is like, just, yeah, let's just put ourselves in somebody else's shoes and, uh, like, if somebody misgenders them, they would be so pissed. I guarantee it. They would be like, that's not who... I'm I'm a woman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They would be so mad. And then when somebody else, like, asserts 
this is what I prefer to be referred to as. They get mad. Like, but that requires being able to empathize, and yeah. they can't. Okay, that's so yeah. clear to me <laughs> how lost people really are because they are trying to fulfill. Lost. You're stepping on some toes here because I've seen you know yeah, the are. labels Christian and then she <laughs> yeah. her, oh. and that's just disturbing to he, me. Under- uh oh. Uh oh. You so, can't be Christian and tell people what your pronouns are. You heard it here first, first folks. Nope. And we have a lot of people that identify as Christians or part of a Christian denomination, part of that spectrum. Um, And I know a lot of them, just based on my interactions with them in the comments and the things they've said, I know a lot of them would not agree with this, what's happening here. Yeah. And so the fact that these two are speaking as, well, we're putting a Christian perspective on things. And I'm like, no, you're You're putting putting your your Christian perspective. perspective. Yeah. And that's not, I wouldn't say that this is Christian at all. Which is objective. This is very icky to me. Yeah. But go ahead, step on some toes. That's just disturbing to me. I I don't know what you guys are doing. Disturbing. That's a nice word. But you need to knock it off. (laughs) You need to knock it off. You are exactly who God made you to be. There is nothing you need to change. There is nothing that needs to be shifted. That's just where I stand. But. Yeah, I don't like it. Because that's not inclusive. Uh, Okay. I understand the feeling of being lost. I understand. No, you don't. You as a in this cis way. hetero person cannot. No. This drives me insane, especially like as straight people, we catch people doing this shit all the, all time. the time. Like you can't say you identify with people in the LGBTQ community. It LGBT totally minimizes the situation for can't. so many people. You can't. You've never been in that situation. You've never been in that position. Yeah. So you can't be like, oh, I understand because you don't. Claws are coming off, people. Feeling of Claws are coming no off. purpose. Coming off. <laughs> Claws are coming out. <laughs> oh my god, I'm like confusion Micah. and heaviness and lowness and darkness. I understand those feelings, but I'm telling you, I'll- those those no, feelings because apparently you're um a new creature or whatever from the last video. <laughs> uh, I guess she does understand those feelings, but those are the feelings that she put on herself for the rhetoric that she allowed to main or like remain in her brain so she can't possibly understand yeah. because she but wouldn't be spewing this shit if she did seriously you'll never ever feel fulfilled through things of this world through labor okay oh, here's God. me i'm morgan and i'm gonna tell you the gospel according to me and paul that the you're never gonna be fulfilled to by the things of the world like yeah. you know being is, your true authentic self isn't gonna be fulfilling for you this is one of the huge things that especially mormons say that oh you can't be happy without the gospel literally we walked by a family today we were uh going we were shopping for some stuff and i was like they were noticeably not Mormon here in Utah. You know, it's less common, but not uncommon. I was like, wow, that family looks so happy. And it makes me so happy to see non-Mormon families out being cute and happy. That's true. Yeah. So you can be happy without this, this garbage. Through identities, through relationships, through drugs, through alcohol, through whatever it might be. And so Demi can go on and go ahead and say that they, them, that's what they are. Okay, Demi, you have permission for Morgan to go ahead by they, them. So there you go. You heard it, heard it first. I have a feeling that in a few years or maybe even a year, I don't know, we're going to see that they are struggling once again. with so- Oh, because that's so bothersome for you. She's a it? prophet. She's a prophet. She knows. Nothing else. I don't want to like declare that over her, but I'm just kind of saying I think that's the case. That's the direction we see all these people go down is they just continuously struggle and struggle and struggle. Because they need to what? meet their maker. Yep. The power oh. of who is power. I... That can be like misinterpreted as you need to die. Like what the hell? It's like yeah. not a nice thing to say. Yeah, maybe be careful with that because someone could misconstrue those words. Yeah, could land yourself in some hot water there. I think this whole video is hot water, but them. yeah, not their power, not their truth. So Morgan, I got to ask you because um, in a live, I believe no, it was in our Caitlyn Jenner video. You shared some of. Oh, good. They have thoughts on Caitlyn oh, Jenner. <laughs> yeah. Your thoughts regarding uh, someone who's transitioning and what pronouns to use. Yep. You you shared. Kind At of least he used so like funny. the right vernacular. 
for the most part. Personal story of a friend. I share you, that on my Instagram. You shared it on your Instagram. Instagram. Follow us on Instagram if you guys don't. Oh, you just shameless plug. A lot of stuff on there. You had a slightly different perspective than maybe I did. Like your conviction maybe was a little different than mine. Assuming you have a friend like Demi Lovato saying my pronouns are they, them. Are you able to do that? Because I'm just thinking about it's it. It's so funny because I'm, like, I'm sorry. God. She would never have a friend like that because yeah, she has she this kind of attitude. Like that? That's weird. And if she does, she's not a true friend. So yeah. watch out. The confusion is just too much. The I can't bear trying it. to get me. I just can't. Other people's the, problems, other I, people's living situation, other people's authentic self. I Ugh. just can't, I can't say they or them in place of he or her or she or him, like, too much. And Demi wasn't saying it in like a, you guys call me this, but, right. but it's just the reality of it. Like, how far are we going to take this? Oh how far are we going to let it go oh, for the, in the name of being loving? Or Literally, being... this is like, this is the same thing as the Mormon slippery slope, like end of times, like where oh does it God. end? First, we let them come out of the closet. Now we allow them to put our, their pronouns in their bio in like everything. What's next? Are they going to overthrow our nation? You got so mad about that. Your headband came off. My head. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> But yes, and the fact that he's like, how far will this go? Like, does loving them enable this behavior? And it's like, there's so many things wrong with the fact that you're even thinking that. But it's just, I'm pretty sure Christ's message was just love people. Period. Uh, yeah. well, Not Even nowadays, that's like seemingly up for debate. Like, just kidding. Only if they're people hetero. Are like, just kidding. Jesus was not some hippie loving people. I'm like, well, I guess that's your interpretation. That's wrong. Yeah. You know, trying to, to meet them where they're at. Right. Are you going to call someone a they? Which is grammatically <laughs> She'd be like, no, it's absolutely not. not. It's not grammatically incorrect. Uh, it but, just is. Right. I, I, I think personally, I would just avoid any type of gender specific nouns, pronouns. That's so much more work than just yeah. using the right ones, yeah. Morgan. That's so much more it's work so on your behalf. It's so much more work. Um, it's, it's so much more mental, like. When it comes to someone who wants to be called they them it's just confusion to a new level and confusion to a new level it's over nine thousand. just you can't be a they them people oh you can't i'm sorry pick one or the other oh jeez that was loud that was like very okay. aggressive also very inappropriate that was like and very so telling. childish like, like how do these people, so here's my, here's my thought, okay? So these people have like 140,000 or something subscribers. So you're telling me that 140,000 of them are as transphobic and homophobic and unchristlike as these two? That's like, that doesn't scary. sound right to me. So why do these people still have subscribers? Well, don't give them your social media currency in the words of no. Josh from the Dad Challenge podcast. They don't deserve it. No. They make money off every video you watch. Don't do it. It's a sizable audience, I think it's but it like in overall, it's kind of nothing. I don't know. It for I really hope society where everybody's anything like goes, confusion reigns. Yep. I saw someone recent. Confusion always confusion reigns no matter reigns. what. Welcome to society. Literally everything. Everybody is confused. Even about in everything. order, <laughs> like some place that's so orderly as the Mormon Church, things are so, so disorderly much because. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> And this is becoming more common, but they're calling their child a they then. And I was just like, what does that have to do with you? Hot take. Unless you have kids of your own or you are a professional in a like child research or child behavior or child psychology field. Not interested in your opinion. Yeah. She's probably like, we got to save the children from oh, people calling them they them. Oh, and alive. I literally want to cry. There we go, y'all. Well, that. then go the cry about it. confusion in that child's life. I'm cry sorry. My, my tolerance window for these people is starting it's to... wear and thin, Growing folks. up is going to be so incredibly destructive and so dangerous. And in this is my personal opinion. I believe it. In yikes. my opinion... All this shit's your personal opinion. <laughs> Me, Morgan, former child, in my personal opinion... I did not grow up this way, so anybody who grows up this way is bad. Is, it's going to be destructive and detrimental to their progress in life. Firmly. Again, this was me, Morgan, former, former child. child. 
but I just cannot imagine growing up like that. And now because you didn't, so that's why prayer hands. These adults and these kids are looking to these adults like, like. Wait, wait, what are they? They're not a male. It's, it's that, kids aren't like that. That behavior is learned. It's learned. Kids don't know about being like taking society, societal values and being no. oppressive. Kids don't know how to do that. Kids don't discriminate. Kids don't do those kinds of things because that's learned behavior. And y'all have to seriously learn some of this behavior. Yeah. Kids absolutely can do those things. But where did they learn it from? Well, and where does it come from? If a kid is like, that's like, for example, like if our son walks up to somebody in a wheelchair and is like, why are you in a wheelchair? That person's not going to be offended because it's coming from a child and children don't know. Like that's coming from a curious perspective. So that's the, that comes off offensive. That's the opportunity to have a conversation with them and be like, inform them and have a appropriate conversation with that person. Cut that shit out. Um, and so But that's, like, coming from a place of innocence. It's not coming from a place of hatred. Yeah. Not a lady. What is it? What is it? it? Really? To me, it's like, have you lost all self-respect for yourself? I have. I have none left. I have literally no self-respect. That's why I'm watching you. About yourself. I told you my tolerance (laughs) went down. Like, I I don't know the person. Cut that out struggle behind that that's right you that don't decision. i know a lot of people say like that's so brave of her or, or how so dare brave you of- as a cis white woman in a heterosexual relationship Jeez. be like oh it's not really that brave like yeah. girl you don't even know yeah. Let's- we don't even know <laughs> yeah like come on why don't, why don't you list us off uh some sort of situation that was even close to comparative you can't. Uh, yeah, you can't. Them. You've, I'm sorry, but um, in most cases, I won't assume who they are, but they probably have had it made. Sorry. To come out and, and claim this and claim that they're non-binary. So like, brave. Way to go. Well, so on that note, before on that we note, continue the clip, I heard somebody on YouTube saying a lot of times you'll hear announcements like this from a We're back to the jump cuts. Holy shit. Whose career is starting to... You know, where they were totally the Uh-oh. hottest thing, and now it's kind of, eh. Nope. Is the timing Bad of this take. a little odd? Also, with the... is No, things like that do not have... Whole any frozen sort. yogurt oh. debacle from a couple weeks ago. Worst she take. Got, it, it would seem like a lot of hate. Like, the majority of people yeah. that saw that... Like, st- that was kind of silly, but... Again, they're a human in the they're spotlight, human. so they're going to do dumb shit because we do dumb shit. We just don't yeah. have the spotlight on us all the time. But I don't know how any of this has anything to do with... Do you think that they just came out with the idea to become non-binary yesterday? Like, they mentioned that they're doing large amounts of, like, healing work and inner work. And so they didn't just wake up one day and be like, this is it. This is me. This is it. I want to get criticized by Morgan and Paul and Morgan. Yep. uh, Okay. No, that's not, like, no. Or, like, an entire community of people like Paul and Morgan. Unless they come out and say that, don't assume that. Yeah were against Demi Lovato and so now is she kind of like this is my scapegoat guys I'm coming out and stepping into my truth they them does that seem like something here yeah Um, you know and some people are gonna come on here and be like how dare you even make that claim you don't know how scary it is to come out exactly yeah you don't because you just look really insensitive that you are non-binary or you're a he instead of a she and you might be right, but you also might be wrong. No, <laughs> yeah, we're not. you might be wrong too. I think that Fam. there very much could be a reason behind this that isn't a, oh, I feel non-binary. It's like a, well, I kind of am like, you know, experimenting yeah. with my identity and now's a good time to announce well, and it you because- know how- That's fine. Why are you- it, why, Nothing is set in stone. Why are you so concerned about whether or not they- what they do or don't do like good god what is this like this is so triggering for you two and i cannot understand why i understand why literally it has not you'll never get to meet more than likely you'll never ever like cross paths with this person so like why does it matter lay off praised coming out of the closet is in hollywood and just it's hard oh my god it's it's praised for like 
I would like you to, yeah. to go talk to Maybe members just of the LGBTQ plus community. That's all watch I can this say back because I that is such an insensitive and I don't even know the word like minimizing yeah. of people who did not get praise for coming out of the closet. I don't even like that phrase. Like, yeah. How insensitive. Like we, there are people in Mormon circles that we're aware of that were, as young adults that were kicked out of their homes. Yeah. For being part of the LGBTQ plus community yeah. and coming out to parents. And so I don't think your whole, there's so much praise. Yeah. Is, I was on Reddit as soon as last week and there was a person who was kicked out of their house because of that reason and homeless like they were on reddit asking for anybody who had any resources that they could use because they were homeless so and you think all of i wonder Hollywood why that is, would be brave to you be think, your authentic self i'm like trying to envision like you think everybody in hollywood is lgbtq plus affirming because yeah, you all have a tv that ain't true longer a big deal if you come out of the closet now it's like you got to come out of the closet and say that you're actually a he instead of a she and no, she instead of a he not. and a they them like we're taking it to the next level it just keeps going up and up and up there now it is. the slippery it gonna slippery go? slope it's crazy it it's crazy it's crazy we're living in crazy times that's so people. crazy At to you point, like you just have it's you know crazy how to offensive you. that is yeah these people are just coming into their own. Like we as people are coming into our own and yeah. figuring out who our authentic selves are. And just because you've never had to deal with that or that's never been a struggle for you, for you to be like, oh, is so Ooh. rude and so minimizing so and so not Christ-like. Like so I, these people are like, how are you guys Christian? Like I don't understand. Yeah. Like this is the first, like. Even by Mormon standards. Oh my God. <laughs> most Christians don't consider to be Christians. To say I love you, I care about you, and respect you as a person. Oh, thank but you. But but there's no buts you here. Go down this road. Yeah. Let's let's continue the clip. I feel that this best represents the this fluidity I feel in my That's gender expression, bad. and allows me to feel most authentic and true to the person I both know I am and still am discovering. Person yeah. I both know I am and am still discovering. Like Those can both be true. Uh, yeah. There's. Like just generally about that concept, there's there's nothing wrong with that. It's totally a sound concept. Like that sounds kind of like damn. a humble way to say it, but is that uh, like, like we knew what the Rosetta Stone was way long before we understood what it was. Like you can be, you can know who you are and still be finding out about yourself. Seriously, oxymoron. I don't know why that's the so person hard. I know I am, which is they them. And I'm still discovering. So I don't know who I am. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's so good. There, it doesn't all have to be surrounding that. They can you know still be is? searching for something else. You know what this is? You know what this comes down to? Let's put on Let's our little. It. Our thinking caps. Our thinking caps. Our thinkers. Turn them on. Um, let's think, put on our psychology hats for a minute. You know what this is? This is a perfect example of black and white thinking. These two are so stuck. And black and white. There is no gray. There is no in the middle. There is no in between. It's no. black or it's white. It's male or it's female. It's, it's he binary. or it's she. There is no in between for these two. And this is so, so, so common in religious yeah. people. And it's so common in everyone because we as humans want to compartmentalize things and make yeah. it easy to understand. But these are not things that are, we are meant to be. Like we're yeah, evolving. That. That's the whole idea yeah. of being non-binary is that so many people struggle with it because it's not black and white. Yep. It's great. And there's nothing wrong with that. You have to allow yourself to get comfortable with ambiguity because there's nothing wrong with that. The brain just doesn't like it. But this yeah. is the perfect example of not being able to step outside of those boxes. Yeah, it, there's, it's perfectly fine with that. And that's why we talked about like, we don't really know what we believe in. And we're also okay with that. It's kind of it's great. Idea. It's we're, great. There's nothing wrong ambiguous. with that. Yeah. Like, are you guys confused? Are you confused? Are you, are you confused? as confused as we are because i'm very confused okay maybe do some research then. yeah literally just get a Instead hop on just Google. being an idiot yeah i'm sorry you can sit in ignorance but now i'm very sad about this whole situation i'm very you don't seem like it sad that people like demi lovato come out have such a big platform and share this stuff with young 
Confused. Oh, here oh comes the. Wait, 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 wait. The here comes the victim of they have this platform and they can just do whatever they want and we're Christians and pe- people what just look doing? down on us. I realize that your platform is oh. not as big as Demi's. I realize that. But what are you doing? Because I'm thinking literally the exact the exact same thing you just said about you two numbskulls. You have a platform <laughs> of decent size. Way larger than our platform. Way yeah. larger than a lot of people on YouTube. And you are spewing transphobic, homophobic insanity. Bullshit. Okay? Unchrist-like yeah. at most. And so what are you doing with your platform that's yeah. so much better than what you think Demi's doing? Confused people already. Like, I'm 26 and I'm confused, like, just in life. In Same. That's general. fine. Yeah. But... Ouch. <laughs> so Ouch. I can't even imagine. Like, that was wait, wait, hold on. Would you say that there are elements of life, and they, there are, that, that are just like, what is, life is confusing yes. sometimes. But there's, there, there's like taking that to another level. I wouldn't look at you and say. It's the same level. It's like, Why it's like just an extension confusion? that you have no access to because you don't allow your brain to go there. Morgan is just a completely confused person. No. And that's that's what I'm trying to say, though, is that, like, I'm confused, but I have the word of God that I stand on. So, like, I can't imagine these young people. The word of God that can be interpreted. Like- the, the word of God that can be interpreted 50 million Morgan, different ways. why are there so many different sects that, inter- that uh, interpret the Bible so many different ways? How, how are the Mormons able to justify adding scripture to the bible when other christians say that you're not allowed to add scripture upon the bible why is that oh because it's so ambiguous so maybe don't use that one are hearing demi share this stuff and they're like thinking like what maybe that's true well and my I, truth yeah i should live in my truth i i don't know the what? stats off the top of my head but i think of course you don't Dude, you have a phone in front of you. Why don't you look them up? Which leads me to believe that maybe this stat doesn't exist. At That's the amount of Gen Z that are saying, yeah, I'm gay, I'm trans, I'm non-binary, it's like skyrocketed. Compared- it's because they don't give a shit about the bullshit that society has been putting on people for so long. They decided, you know what, we're going to divert from that. Rather than converge like the rest of humanity for the last couple thousand years. Well, it's years. not that, so, again, it goes back to the premise that we talked about at the beginning of this video. It's not like suddenly everybody's becoming gay. Yeah. It's that society is becoming a more accepting place for people to exist. And so they feel more comfortable doing that. Yeah. And that's a very vulnerable and brave thing to do, regardless of how society is has improved, because we've still got a long way to go. Yeah. But this whole idea that suddenly like people are becoming gay because it's cool and yeah. Gen Z thinks it's cool. Like, don't put that on them. Jeez. Yeah, that's so rude, honestly. Dis generations. Also Morgan well, never mind. And what else has skyrocketed They're probably depression and suicide? This is the most accepting ar- depression okay. and suicide, really, that's correlated with people. Yeah. Really? People be like, Ooh, yeah, before the 1900s, mm-hmm. there was no autism. And then after the 1900s, there's autism. Hmm, that's interesting. I can't believe she just threw that in there. Okay, like, yeah. I'm appalled that she just threw that in there last minute. Like, this is skyrocketing with Gen Z, but so is depression and suicide. You want to know why some kids commit suicide? Explain to me this then, Morgan. Why is the suicide rate among the LGBTQ plus community of young adults, teenagers, preteens, why is that so high? Explain yeah. that to me then. Why? Because uh, we have research that tells us why. People like this. So I need you to grow a brain and do some research before you start spewing shit like this. Because yeah. what does this message that you have right here send to a suicidal preteen or a teenager or a young adult? What does your message send? I want you to think about that. Yeah. She does research. It's just in the wrong book. The world has been with the LGBTQ community, yet they are one of the highest communities ending their lives. Oh my God. I, I hate that stupid. Duh. Trans lives don't matter because uh, they're ending their own lives. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, Why? I hate that. Oh my God. I can't believe that you could just sit there and have the take that it's because 
It's because they're struggling so much with the fact that they're gay. That's why they're ending their lives. They don't want to be gay. That's because that's what they've been told. That is absolutely that's what they've been told. False. So they just believe that they're going to take that on the word of whoever false. that was. That oh my god! You're firmly rooted in the word of God, or you're feeling shaky, or you're just kind of over the word of god but you're still struggling they're probably over the word of god because people like you say the word of god um means that they're sinners so with identity and life and just confusion i just feel like now is the time to really really give yourself over to the word of god give yourself over to the, the truth so that i'll make you not word. gay anymore yeah just uh, look into the conversion therapy for like two seconds and just see what a absolute inhumane shit show that is. And it doesn't work. Bible work. has in it. Just search, dig, deep That's dive what you need into to do. his just dig word because I believe that there is truth in there. You want to know who you are? You'll find it in the Word of God. You'll what find if you it don't? walking with. Yeah, a lot of people don't. Why do you bother daily? Not in the world. Stop trying to find yourself. Get out of the world. Be in world. the world, not, not of the world. You're not going to find yourself. You're going to have a million different identities from the world. A million other people will tell you who you are. God tells you exactly who you are. And he says, and I also. I where? Where does he I, say, I, McKay, I, oh you God. are a white heterosexual no, male. As long as you're not gay oh, or, right. yeah. you know. That's, yeah. Also, Black cite scriptures. Where, where the hell is God saying this kind of stuff? Exactly. Who you are because I made you. The world didn't make you. The world tries to make you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and you didn't just come from nothing. Right. You start going down that road, and then it becomes much easier to say. You didn't come from nothing. Two people I had would sex. Also, okay, wait a minute here. <laughs> I would also like to point out the fact, I don't think these two mentioned at all anything about Demi's spiritual or religious journey, or if they have any type of religious or spiritual yeah. belief, because Demi could be more connected to, to their higher power than ever. And these two are just going on spout nonsense yeah. when they're more connected with their god their higher power their spirituality more than they've ever been yeah their so, self yeah even their intuition their inner knowing and so this is really obnoxious to me because they don't even know and they're yeah. so misinformed yeah well is this really even a life mm -hmm. a baby that's you know in the womb who am oh, i god. i can be anything i want <laughs> we're gonna skip over that one to be and nothing at all because ah, what does it even matter i was just made by chance oh, let's, let's i don't play think this. that's what they're thinking what? yeah oh that's identity God. i mean you are kind of made by chance because it's not like you just have sex and boom a baby comes out like a lot of times it's kind of up to chance for that to happen but also take the time to personally reflect on how i came into my truth so that we like many Their eyelashes are on fleek Seriously, others though. are able to live our lives authentically how i came into my truth yes and then why do people they they hate that phrase they really like don't. my truth i think a lot of it, people in religious circles do because they're yeah. like there's only one truth and it's god's truth yeah it's people told us that yeah when we decided that we were going to leave the mormon church they're yep. like that's there's only one truth that's one okay. of my favorite phrases we've done living okay life. well it's not uh in a religion made by joseph smith so authentically i can't imagine living life on my truth <laughs> that's bro it's great let me tell you you are not living life to the fullest i thought <laughs> living life on morgan's truth oh wow wow but seriously the moment i start to live a little bit on my truth things just fall apart okay come wait a crashing minute. down so we're <laughs> assuming that like your truth is doing things that are inherently mm. bad or negative or not good for you like living your truth equates to bad decisions is that what we're saying that's exactly because i think you have a huge misunderstanding of what truth is yeah. then just because when you were living your truth you made poor decisions doesn't I would mean argue, that somebody else is doing the same i would argue then that you weren't living your truth then yeah. so <laughs> I mean, the, the Bible says that the heart is deceptive above all things, like left to ourselves. Where I oh, hate, God, I hate there this. It is. the Bible says, where? Elves. <laughs> it's chaos. It's almost like how prideful do you have to be to say I'm going to live on oh, my truth? Pride. It is pretty wild. Oh, wow. I'm proud as, I'm proud as f if she's concerned about that. So 
That's like even if you are someone who doesn't believe in the word, subscribe to the word of God, which there are plenty you don't subscribe y'all to our channel instead. <laughs> And even some who say they do that don't, to Whoa. just bring it all into a self. Did he just allege that people who don't believe in God actually do believe in God? No, just he said that some people, I think he was okay, saying I heard that, that wrong. like some Christians say they do even though they don't. So uh, that was, I think, a slam on other Christians. I, yeah, that's also just not great. Identity and lifestyle, that, that does seem just it's, very prideful. Yeah. And you know, that's interesting how... When you think of celebrities like Demi Lovato, Selena Gomez, Miley Cyrus, Taylor Swift, Justin Bieber, they have literally grown up since they were 14, whatever. They, uh, everybody grows up. <laughs> 12, 14, 15, being worshipped. And that's kind of scary. That's that, terrifying. I've, do, I don't... Worship, what do you, yeah, worship, I guess. I guess, but, yeah, kind of. But, that, but that's not to say that they haven't had their hardships. You're overlooking... Just because they've had a cushy life doesn't mean they've had hardships. I mean, as a child doing stuff like that, that... Like, y'all can't relate. Yeah. We can't relate either. I we can't relate. I like. don't even know what that's like. I know that it's not all sunshine and roses. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Justin Bieber got a lot of hate for a long time. Still does because he was a knucklehead and things all like that. All of them so. have. What about that? Like, you're idolized. You are an oh, idol. You goodness. are worshipped. Maybe that's potentially one of the reasons we're seeing so much of this. They've been worshipped. There's really no higher power. Yep. And she experiments. <laughs> wow, so you're just saying that none of those people have any relationship with a higher power? Yeah. That's a whew, that's a hell of a statement to that's, make. That's a take, for sure. With different religions, but... And that's normal. They usually all do experiment a little bit, or, or you hear from them of, I grew up going to church, or mm -hmm. I grew up at a in a Bible thumping state it's yeah, like so, that doesn't mean anything so, to me it shouldn't mean anything to you and guys we hope what <laughs> they grew up at, yeah it doesn't because what? they they probably realized that they had outgrown the culture and the the it churches that they went to anymore. because it doesn't work mormons yeah. do this all the time we get told this all the time it's like the whole this whole attitude that she just had is the well they stepped away but they'll be back they'll they be know back. they experiment it doesn't they'll matter that they stepped away because they'll be back they'll realize the truth and it i mean it knocks those people down a level yeah. and so i'm like she's up here sitting on her high horse being like they'll experiment but they'll come back yeah no sometimes they won't yeah because and that's okay not for some people and we've seen it, I believe. I mean, it can happen. Just a radical conversion with a oh, celebrity. Yeah. And I, man, I would love that with Demi Lovato. Like Scientologist. I was going to say, like Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping on Oprah's yeah. couch. That was a radical Woof. conversion, y'all. I feel it. I would love nothing more with Demi Lovato yeah. and Miley Cyrus and Lil Nas X. Oh, God. Oh, Don't hate on do Lil Nas. They do, do they do shit about Lil Nas? We might have to look into that oh, because man. I would love to hear their takes. Their but shit yeah, takes when you are that. worshipped as they kind of are, and then that also goes back to suddenly maybe their career is eh, waning. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm used to be A wavering, I think is the word he was Worshipped. I am my own God. I am... um, Because that's what they think. Seriously. Call me. Yeah. I mean, if some... <laughs> If some, some people of them do, might. Yeah. sure, whatever. But are sure. we again? We're making whatever. huge assumptions. Yeah. Call me do? they them. Huh? Do you love me again? Huh? Honestly, I think am I, you're am I, something. Such am I a hero stick. again? Not everybody is. Am like I a hero? You think that those people go into that thinking they're going to come out a hero? Are you serious? No way. Are you serious? <laughs> Paul asked me a few days ago if I followed like any celeb, celeb any celebrity. <laughs> like how they highlighted the, the little tongue twist there. That was good. That was good. I had, I, that's I why I like that. to leave some of the oopsies in. Think about it for a minute because I really do not and it's purposeful. Like, you know, I follow a few other YouTubers, um, but I really... Like I don't follow who? any celebrities on Instagram either. Does that make me up on your high horse with you now? Yeah. As far as like mega celebrities... Well, like especially because you identify as she, her. So. Yeah. Miley Cyrus or Hailey Bieber or whatever, like... I don't follow those people, and it's very purposeful. Be let's check out our Instagram and see. I don't either. Let's, let's I don't fact check want that. their lifestyle in my life. I don't want, even if That's it's fine. not necessarily like, which if you follow Miley Cyrus, like there's no way it's not raunchy or just gross and super worldly. But oh! I don't want. Gross? Ooh. Yeah. You tell me you're gross? not a feminist this. without telling me you're not a feminist. I follow a bunch of worldly people. That shouldn't worldly be people. what we desire. Can there be Even like when it comes to Venus people? Literally everybody is a worldly Mars person. Mars yeah. people or... Yeah. Oh my God. And people are going to be like, 
that's not what they mean. If I know what I they know, mean. But uh, you just got to look at, at their vernacular subjectively sometimes. Me? Objectively. Subjectively. One Something of those like two. That. Yeah, like I get that there are some people. I, I will say, you know, if there's like a celebrity that I feel like is walking with the Lord, I think it's Chris Pratt. Fun. Well, yeah, that's to, to follow them. Which I oh, don't, I, I thought don't. he was going to, like, make, never mind. I honestly, Christians like, Chris maybe, like one that I follow on Instagram, and I can't even think of who it is. But you see what I'm saying? like, And that's that's fine. If they're walking with the Lord and you're seeing true, genuine fruit from them, yeah, yeah. give them a follow. Yeah, if, they, you know? if they're I get alive, fruit from Lil Nas, let me tell you. Woo. Woo. Good fruit. Yeah, good fruit, for sure. I mean, but it is yeah. also aligning with the word of God. and it's, Call me when you want, man. Inspiring you in those things, sure, but yeah. how many of them are? Like I follow Joanna Gaines. I love her. Of course you do. Uh, of course. Many of right. them are having an authentic, true gospel type of life versus even the ones that claim to be a Christian. Okay, Hollywood. Let's stop this right here because we all know Instagram's a highlight reel. Yeah. Like this is like yeah. I would hesitate to say that anybody's Instagram is completely authentic because we as humans, as worldly humans. That's how we are. We're not. I'm not yeah. going to show like a picture of our son screaming for eight hours because he's teething. Because that one, who wants <laughs> nobody to wants that? to see that. Two, we don't like, even really want to see no, it because it sucks. And so, uh, why are we like, like? It, there's nothing on Instagram that I feel like is fully authentic. And no. so, I also don't think you are like an elevated person or an elevated Christian or religious like, person because you don't follow celebrities folks. on social media. Jeez. Like, congrats. Yeah. yeah. I don't either. Who cares? Version of Christianity. All right, guys, but we want to hear your thoughts on oh. this Demi Lovato situation. You I got don't our think thoughts. you will hear the, this, <laughs> but if you do, here it is. You asked for it. Saying so. I'm they, them. I just want to make process sure that, that Let us know. Let's keep the conversation going. And one last Let's thing I do want to say, if you going. are someone out there who is struggling oh, with thoughts. your identity. Oh, I will say, got- before she says this, I do appreciate her eyebrows and her hair. On fleek. Like, they're, they're very, she has gorgeous oh, no. hair. In your bio, who is just trying to figure it out, we would love to have a genuine conversation with you. Bruh. Because you think they as hung around? As confusing as this life no is, and as confused as, it, as I am by it, I am very solidly firm in my identity as a woman of God, Pops. as a child. Congratulations Here we have to you. Two very different things happening. All of the things that you just said in this video, and it's 20 minutes worth of bullshit. All of that stuff was nothing but transphobic, homophobic, hate, and total crazy rudeness, basically. I can't even think of words because this makes me so mad. And so you just spewed all of that for 20 minutes, and now you're coming in at the end and being like, well, if you are struggling, like, I'm solid in my identity, so, like, come hang out with me. Like, like, no. I wish wish we could check out the watch time on this one because it probably, it's 20 minutes long. You're spewing all this hate. You think somebody who's struggling is going to stay till the end to hear what you have to say? You are absolutely mistaken. And you, and... This whole video is proof that you don't want to have a conversation. You don't. You've made up your mind. Mm -hmm. What is having a conversation with anybody in the category that you just described going to do for you? No. Absolutely nothing. And you can't rectify everything you just said by the last 30 seconds of the video being like, oh, well, I really care. Is this the disclaimer so you don't get reported? Don't believe any of this right here. You're full of shit. Howdy. So I am currently editing right now well i was editing up until about five minutes ago um and i noticed that from that point on (laughs) there's no video i don't know what happened to it i didn't ever hit record or anything like that it's just gone so here i am with the wrap up a lot of people get on our case and they'll say when we do videos like this they'll say oh well you're being so critical of them for being judgmental, but all you're doing is being judgmental back. And you have to understand where we're coming from in saying that these people are being critical under the guise of being Christians, being Christ-like, et cetera, et cetera. And that's, it's toxic. So we want to bring to light these kinds of issues that people are throwing out there into the world just because 
they want to because they think that's what's right. So we're making our counterpoint to their point by making this video so that when somebody sees a bullshit video like this one, maybe they'll also see our counterpoint to it. Some people will call it bullshit. I don't think so. Um, that's just my opinion. So we might do some more videos about Morgan and Paul because um, this one was, well, this one kind of just infuriated us more than anything. Um, so maybe if there's some other funny ones out there that, are, uh, that we could, funny, maybe if there's some other shitty ones out there that we could react to and have a good laugh, um, we could do that. But other than that, make sure you follow us on our socials. Um, you can find us at Jordan and McKay on Instagram and TikTok. Jordan is running like the whole show on those ones while I'm editing and doing stuff like that. So um, that's why you probably don't see me as much on there. But she does a great job with the Instagram and things like that. Um, you can also check out our Teespring. Uh, we have a couple shirts on there. I'm not going to say the thing again. Um <laughs> But uh, yeah, keep an eye out for changes there. If you're looking for other ways to support us, you can find us on Venmo at Jordan and McKay. Um, we also have our Ko-Fi linked in the description. Um, so if you're, you're feeling generous or anything like that, this does take a little bit of time on each video to do, especially when we run into stupid uh, technical issues like this time around. Um, so it's greatly appreciated. We're, we've been getting a lot of people um, out there showing support for us, so it's amazing. Um, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button, and then go check out the uh, the Q and A video that we did on Friday, um, so you can find out how to win some absolutely amazing candles from Exmo Candle Company. So uh, until next time, we'll see ya. We're going to, um, I don't want to watch any more of this because <laughs> it's probably the end, but honestly, was this as bad as you expected it to be? This was worse than it I just, expected it to it be. It just kept getting worse. Like they just kept throwing in these things and in the end, <laughs> they kind of strayed away from the subject. Well, they did quite a bit. Because I think the title of the video was about Demi Lovato. Yeah. yeah. It was Demi Lovato. But so. here's the thing, like, here's the problem I have with it is, again, the amount of subscribers they have, they have quite a bit. They have a decent sized platform. And so when we're talking about being kind and Christ-like and meeting people where they're at, supporting people where they're at, hold, withholding our own opinions and judgment like Christ would, and yeah. just being a decent person isn't happening here. There's nothing in here. The only thing you did was back up your hate with the word of God. I okay. yeah, or in my experience, that yeah. is like totally detached from. And you guys, it the concerns subject. me because what if a fifteen-year-old kid who's struggling with their gender identity, who's thinking maybe they're along the LGBTQ yeah. plus community, thinking that that might be who they are? Yeah, and, this and they just, watch this. Yeah, they're Christian, and this was just what they watch. What do you think that's gonna do? Like, what we don't like. Teen suicide in Utah is an absolute epidemic. It's worse here than I think anywhere in the States. It's absolutely god-awful. And it's highly correlated with activity from the LDS church. But that's a topic we can get to another day. But these things are why. Your words matter. The things you say matter. And so I know people come on our video and they're like, oh my god, you talk about them being judgmental and then you be judgmental. Karen, I'm aware of what I'm doing. Thanks for your input. Yeah. But here's the deal. I'm not going to stop judging these people and clowning on these people until they stop spewing hatred bullshit. Bullshit like this. So when they stop, yeah. then I'll leave them alone. But until then, I'm not going to let someone come across this video without a reaction video of ours yeah. being out there to say, uh, -uh yeah, we're not taking any yeah. of this. Don't if, get mad when we make a point or a counterpoint to their point. No, if you're part of the LGBTQ plus community, you are loved, you are cared for, you are whole as you are. There's nothing about you that needs to change. And so don't listen to any of this crap because it's not true. They have nothing productive to say to you and they're just hateful. So don't listen to it. Yep. Don't subscribe. Don't, don't support them. Yeah. If, if you end up on one of their videos, smash that dislike button.
seriously i don't and there are a lot of comments on this video um from people that are like wow you guys like really this yeah, is this is just like really low really offensive um and so i but here's the thing about some of these people who have platforms like this especially as christians and mormons do this as well yeah they take the persecuted route and they're like oh we need oh. to keep doing this because we're being so persecuted by worldly people and so this empowers them to continue doing it because they're like oh yeah. but again this is a losing fight for you because the world has outgrown this kind of stuff and we don't need it anymore less people joining churches identifying as religious than ever before ever before and people are leaving churches in droves and it's this kind of rhetoric is yeah. why because it's incompatible with the way that people feel comfortable who wants to go to a church and feel uncomfortable for the entire duration that they're there because let me tell you lives. this ideology saying these type of things acting like this saying what the two of them have said this entire video is incompatible with being christ-like there's my take yeah. Don't be like these people. Um, that's all I have to say about that. I know other. I know people want us to watch other videos of theirs, but they have to be like funnier and yeah, like this more one cringy. Just makes us mad. This one just pissed me right the hell off. Yeah. So find ones that are less. I don't know. They all don't, piss me off. Don't but go this and one find bad. videos of theirs because then you give them the clicks. Yeah, so we don't, don't want that don't if there's one that you've already watched that's like not as bad as this then send it our way but don't go watching their shit yeah so anyhow that is our uh that's our take on paul and morgan it was much worse this time around than it was with girl defined so oh my god i didn't think that was possible well i knew it was i possible. haven't heard i really disappointed with I was the right. caveat though that we haven't really heard girl defined talk about the lgbtq plus community yeah so we'll have to, it could be just as bad if not worse we'll have to um see only I'm time will tell them the benefit only of the time will tell yeah 